The Zumwalt ships were so impossible to build, they cost 692% more than the U.S. Navy planned, at a unit cost of $9 billion per ship, far more than the planned $1.3 billion. These ships are by far the most expensive destroyers on the planet, and with such a hefty price tag comes features and capabilities like no other. Zumwalt ships are alien technology, or as close to it as possible. From their looks to capabilities, these ships are unique in virtually every way superior to every other destroyer, cruiser, or amphibious assault ship they've been up against. But now they have a new rival, probably their biggest rival yet, a modified, upgraded, Type 071 amphibious transport dock of the Chinese Navy. This particular Type 071 ship, known as Simingshan, appears to wield a brand new laser weapon. China's first-ever ship-based hard-kill laser weapon. Images revealed of this event show that Simingshan has undergone some significant modification of her forward superstructure. The changes accommodate the new design on an extended raised platform. The turret is sitting in B position, behind the HPJ 2676mm main gun and directly ahead of the bridge. The modification includes a protective and extendable cupola. This design supports the notion that this is indeed some form of laser weapon. So China officially joins the race against the US to build the most lethal laser weapon on the seas, and it's a tight race already. Although China's laser weapon efforts have focused mainly on land, its first sea-based hard kill just might be impressive enough to rival years of its development of its American equivalents. The Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, for instance. The Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, or LWSD for short, was developed by Northrop Grumman. It was spotted installed on the U.S. Navy San Antonio-class landing platform dock USS Portland in late 2019 and knocked down a drone target in May 2020. Its location on USS Portland is eerily similar to the location of China's new laser weapon on the Type 071 ship. While the exact status and the capabilities of the Chinese laser weapon are unknown, it's worth noting that the 150 kilowatt class LWSD was primarily developed to provide ships with an additional line of defense against unmanned aircraft and small boat swarms. Additionally, the U.S. laser can be used as a dazzler for blinding optical sensors and seekers. Being equipped with integrated full-motion video cameras for tracking and aiming, the LWSD can also be used to conduct surveillance. A similar set of capabilities is entirely conceivable for the Chinese weapon too. So, all that is known so far about the weapon hints that it just might be ready to rival the big dogs in the US. However, there is just one problem. Its host, a weapon is only as formidable as the ship that wields it. Laser weapons generally require an incredible amount of power to take down any major target. Such power can, as it stands today, only come from nuclear power or an impossibly powerful conventional power system. So unless the Chinese Navy has built such a conventional power system or a nuclear-powered surface warship, its new laser weapon might be fatally limited in its race to surpass American laser weapons. Unfortunately for China, it's an entirely different story in the US, which boasts a massive fleet of nuclear-powered surface fleets. American laser weapons therefore have an entire catalog of power-loaded ships to choose from, and of course, they choose the Zumwalt-class destroyers. Zumwalt-class destroyers are unarguably the most alien-looking destroyers in the world, not to mention they are the largest, and as said before, most expensive too. In fact, they are more expensive than every non-American ship on the planet including submarines and aircraft carriers. Developing these ships was so major that almost every major defense contractor across the U.S. was involved in building them, from Lockheed Martin to Raytheon to Northrop Grumman to General Dynamics, and so on. As a result, the Zumwalt-class ships feature the best of everything the U.S. has to offer, including one that laser weapons would admire very, very much, a mighty powerful nuclear propulsion and power system. The propulsion and power system on Zumwalt-class ships provides much more electrical power for use than the systems of every other ship in the U.S. Navy fleet. The ships are powered by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and two Rolls-Royce R-Odd 4,500 turbine generators that provide a total power output of 105,000 shaft horsepower. Such a propulsion system enables the Zumwalt class to achieve Olympic gold speeds up to 30 knots, which is quite impressive for 15,000-ton ships. The ship's turbo generators not only provide power to the drive motors, but also to all systems across the entire ship. These include automation systems that allow for a minimal crew size of 150 people, 
regular operational systems that keep things running smoothly, and an endless list of sensors, radars, and sonars that provide superior situational awareness, along with the ability to detect or engage threats from miles away. Thanks to having so much power at its disposal, the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gilday, wants to install lasers on the Zumalt class destroyers. The Navy has already deployed several laser weapons at sea, including the ANSEAQ 3 laser on the USS Ponce in 2014. The new laser weapon system demonstrator, mentioned earlier on the amphibious landing dock USS Portland, the high energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance, HELIOS, and the optical dazzling interdictor. Zumwalt class destroyers have more power than every ship these weapons are on, and could therefore wield them better than their current hosts. But power isn't all that makes the Zumwalt class destroyers special. There's more. Super stealthy design. The Zumwalt class destroyer reintroduces the tumble home hull form, a hull form not seen to this extent since the Russo Japanese War over a century ago. The inverted bow in the form cuts through waves rather than rides over them. It's smooth, angular, streamlined design, coupled with a composite deckhouse that encloses many of the sensors and electronics, helps to significantly reduce the radar return of the ship, water sleeting along the sides, and passive cool air induction in the MAC, further reduces the infrared signature too to make the ship ultra-stealthy. In fact, despite being 40% larger than an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, the radar cross-section of Zumwalt-class ships is more akin to that of a fishing boat, and they're 50 times harder to spot on radar than an ordinary destroyer. Zumwalt-class ships are so stealthy that the Navy had to make them easier to spot by adding onboard reflectors. When in use, the reflectors would make ships more visible to friendlies during times when visibility is required, such as when the ships are traversing busy shipping channels or operating in weather that's harder to navigate through. This unrivaled stealth capability allows the Zumwalt class to operate closer to shorelines and in contested areas without being easily detected, providing a significant advantage against the opposition. Lethal Armament in terms of firepower, the Zumwalt class is a versatile one. Every ship of the class is equipped with a variety of advanced weapon systems. The first is the advanced gun system, which consists of two 155mm guns capable of firing precision-guided projectiles at long distances. These guns can engage both land-based targets and enemy ships with remarkable accuracy. Next, there are the 230mm Mark 46 Mod 2 gun weapon systems, which are highly flexible to fire whatever rounds are available. Each Zumwalt-class ship also features 80 MK-57 peripheral vertical launching system cells, which are larger than the MK-41 cells found on most American destroyers. These cells can accommodate a moderate array of standard and specialized anti-aircraft, anti-ship, and land attack missiles, including the Tomahawk, the Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, and the Vertical Launch Anti-Submarine Missile. In addition to all of these, the Zumwalt class of destroyers seems slated to soon wield not just laser weapons, but hypersonic missiles too. Laser weapons and hypersonic missiles are currently two of the most formidable weapons today. They're almost impossible to intercept, and they're autonomous enough to get the job done with a success rate high enough to make China worried. To exploit the capabilities of these invincible weapons, Admiral Gilday, having expressed his intent to field laser weapons on the Zumwalt class, also announced the Navy's plans to purchase eight hypersonic conventional prompt strike missiles, or CPS missiles, that will be fielded on Zumwalt class destroyers. The fiscal 2024 budget would call for $341 million to buy the hypersonic rounds and another $901 million for research and development. Ultimately, the service wants to spend $3.6 billion over the next five years to purchase 64 of the missiles. Lockheed Martin has already received a $2 billion contract from the Navy to deliver the missiles. What does it take to dominate the world? No one knows, but the most powerful nations in the world, such as the US and China, believe it has something to do with laser weapons, betting trillion-dollar economies and billions of dollars worth of resources in this belief. The race is on, and getting hotter by the second, which will win, and which will end up in the bin, scorched by laser beams. There are only two ways to find out, by giving this video a like and subscribing to this channel. So do that now, and thanks for watching.